Hi viewers, uh, my name is Veera. Uh, welcome to the JBoss session. Today I'm going to show you so the new subsystem which is introduced as part of the Firefly level electron. This electron subsystem. So how do I use this as part of a JDBC configurations? So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that today. So first I'm going to declare you a normal uh, JDBC configurations how we configured it earlier, and I'm going to test this connection. If it is successfully connected, and then I'm going to replace that configurations. So how do you uh, make uh, the security is declared in the electron? How it comes into the picture? I'm going to show you that. So then we can use this electron. So uh, first I'm going to have a very basic configuration. I'm going to show you this uh, as we seen this earlier. So I have a, a server where my Postgres SQL is running. Okay, then I'm going to with the uh, JBoss. I will going to configure the normal data source configuration and then I am going to show you how we have to replace our old configurations uh, with electron. So this is a wild line 11, I have it bin directory. So I am going to start this server. So I am going to use this standalone dot uh, simple profile. Once this is done, let me connect to the CLI part. So first I would like to uh, declare the normal uh, data source stuff. Okay, so we started successfully. <coughs> okay. Okay, this is uh, sport is the both as part of so much on confusion. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna show you first. I'm gonna adding the first modules. So modules add and this name goes to this resources. So I have a post to this bar file over here and dependencies. Dependencies, JIX API, and then JIX transaction API. Dependencies, dependent, sorry, dependencies. So it is. So let me check this modules. So form post address. So this is the main. And this has been added. Make sure sometimes, you know, so when you're trying to add it, so make sure the database, uh, you know, check this encoding is, you know, this attribute should be added. So if sometimes when you add it, even though this connection will not work, okay. So make sure it have to be like this, okay. So this is done. So what else? So next. Uh, so then quickly add the uh, JDBC driver. So how do I add it? So subsystem data sources JDBC driver. So post to this. So I'm going to add this. Out. So driver module name. So on post to this. And then driver name. Post to press and then driver let's say data source class name. I think this class name we need to make sure properly under ORG post press equal XA and here PG XA data source. So this will might help when you're trying to. Uh, create from this UI so this will automatically need help and I get uh, help from the UI okay so when you enter from the CLI make sure it have to be everything you have to be entered so data source I'm going to add it name is equal to post to this TS this is what my uh, data source name and then uh, 
chain DNA. So Java, JBoss, this is super important and data sources, data sources and PostgreSQL. TS and this is the driver, driver name, PostgreSQL which we given in the above and this is a connection URL. Connection, connection URL. So here the path. The connection URL should be JDBC and uh, JDBC post address. JDBC colon post address equal that where uh, my server is running. 128 is the IP address where it is running, and uh, this is the port. And I have a. This is my DB <coughs> and uh, let me enable this should be enabled auto and here is the part username okay so here uh, when you preparing the configurations of this we need to make sure we have to give the username and password so here this is called a security okay and this is the password uh, this is actually we are going to replace this as part of the electron subsystem in our database so this is the virtual security so this first i will declare it then i will remove this and i will show you how to declare this username and password into our electron subsystem then we will use that electron in our data data source that's what the concept and this is uh, i think that's it okay our other stuff is not required okay so this has been added so let me check that standalone configurations standalone.xml file so i got this data source and this is the username and password okay so now okay so this is the bound this new data source so let me check this admin console and check the connection once it is successfully established then we will go and to replace this stuff so this is okay no user is added so this is the error password so done <coughs> so where I need to go this uh, configurations subsystems data source to so be done it uh, non exit data source post TS. check it out this test the connection okay so now uh, I am able to successfully connect it to the database that means whatever I configure this username and password is also been right okay so all the configurations are done successfully and now let me open one more putty then I would like to show you this configuration how it is going to reflect when we have to do the full C plan. So open by five standard configurations. Okay. So the now now what I'm going to do is this is the security part. Okay. So this part I'm going to remove it. And this part I will declare in the electron subsystem and here I will refer that electron subsystem over here that's all okay so the now connect to the CLI you see first let me remove that stuff and whatever we configured this uh, username and password first I will remove this and then the stuff we are going to go to the electron subsystem then okay so first remove this so how do I remove this uh, subsystem okay uh, data sources so we have our data source Okay, we have a post ds cool. and here the properties we need to undefine this okay undefine this attribute and what is the attribute so the name is equal to so we have a uh, so much we declared this is the first password okay so this is the first password okay success and then username make sure first we have to give the password not a username okay then it will go now it will throw some error okay the order is password and then username in cool and now so i define this i think reload is required okay let me reload this so it is means it is uh, like to show you okay from here so <coughs> here is the security part i mean authentication like this so here we have it it is gone now we undisabled means we remove the stuff but now in this i will refer the electron subsystem so how do i refer that 
subsystem and data sources and same thing uh, data source is equal to post this ts and now here i am going to write one attribute the new attribute this is the part now i am going to referring this later on ok so electrons see here we have uh, electron enabled that's the thing electron enable value is equal to true so i enable reload this stuff and you will see the configuration still we are not declared the stuff inside electron but we are referring just like that so we removed the username and password and i referred this electron so something like this now electron is enabled so it will look for now the security in electron we have to declare to go to the electron subsystem and declare the so uh, uh, the uh, authentication stuff with uh, the username and password in the electron then there it will be referred and it will going to be hooked that is the concept of the electron so any security part in the database like ssl part also we have security uh, no? so any security part in the jboss so we can use this electron and you can refer this like this in the electron so that's all this stuff and uh, let me back to this electron then now uh, declare me how to declare this electron in the as part of this data source okay so first i will go to the subsystem electron so this is uh, we need to go with authentication stuff authentication electron authentication authentication configuration so, uh, authentication configuration so here we have it so here i need to declare some authentication stuff so like the uh, db authentication so i will give the name db authentication add it so here uh, authentication the name authentic authorization so, authentication this is a property authentication name so the, what is the, uh, the name i have uh, my username is jboss uh, the uh, database username is jboss okay okay then next uh, this is the property authentication references and this is the references make sure when you give this references so our database password right now i am not going to enable encrypted my password so i'm going to use my password as a plain text password okay so when you uh, we will see and again how to you know encrypt the password how to do that in this case but right now my username and passwords are the very plain from text very plain text okay okay that's how do we declare this so here the issue have to take clear uh, text okay the clear text so here my password check okay so that's it uh, that's it okay so now see here so how it will be in the electron surface or even white electron okay so this is okay this is the first jdbc we enabled this stuff and see here this is electron subsystem then what i declared so here authentication clients uh, authentication configuration this is the name which you declare my username is a jboss okay so my database username is jboss and the password is a plain text clear text is the jboss username and password okay so that's our declared over here and then next uh, i need to declare the context so this is important so this is actually the order okay so if we go with an ssl also will be same electron authentication context configuration okay now this is the authentication configuration now this is going to be a context okay so then here so this is the db authentication context now i'm going to add this stuff so here i'm going to refer the above whatever we declared it okay so the now so here what is the possibilities okay match rules so here it will be okay so above whatever we declared authentication configuration okay so authentication configuration okay so is equal to so what is my authentication configuration is this one maybe authentication okay so i think that's it uh, i think i need to close this in the presses that's it and refer this close this again go to this ytron okay so this is electron and this is my declared this is the first step gb authentication and then next uh, authentication context i am referring this above authentication so over here okay so that's it so we declare db authentication and first db authentication then db authentication context okay and the final so we uh, declared this electron we enabled it already okay so there is something else also we need to do this subsystem 
data source data sources okay cool data source and the post is here so here right attribute is equal to so what is the properties we see in this authentication context see here this is authentication context and this is the value so here what is the authentication db authentication context is my name with this okay now refer here electron and now see here so this is <coughs> electron a enabled this and the context name i configured over here okay the context name along with this whatever i enable there's a two attributes two lines over here the security so normally if you go with electron so the db authentication and authentication context so these two we declared it so quite but look this complex but uh, you know you can declare the one time and you can use it you know the many places over there <coughs> okay so that's it uh, we done this part so this is electron level we declared this uh, security part and now uh, let me go and check this part <coughs> so if it is successful uh, no, successfully connected that means so our configurations are right then electron is doing that that's what the conclusion on it <coughs> Okay, so this is the configuration of the electron. So the authentication in the context. So this is the name which we declared referred over there. Label. <coughs> this one. <coughs> it's not enable the context. Cool. Okay, stick it down. Configurations such so as from data sources and now it's a first prestigious. So is this connection successful? So that means whatever we declared the authentication is it is referring this authentication from the electron subsystem. So that's it. So you can deploy this simple application and you can test this definitely if you want to work. It's all about this electron subsystem is introduced as part of the Wi-Fi 11 and we use that as part of the data source a security level okay so that's all on this session the next session we're going to look this one more feature like ssl a part of it so how do you electron will comes into the picture okay so that's it uh, thanks for watching this video thank you so much we'll meet in the next video